Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use the semi, the mean semi deviation model uh, introduced by Markowitz originally. Um, it uses the semi deviation of a distribution as a measure of risk. That means it will only track values or, or deviations that are lower than a specified. Um, threshold. In this case, zero was the threshold, so every deviation that is below zero or equal to zero will be tracked. All the other ones will not be considered as risk because, you know, it's actually chance or luck you can have. It's potential. All right, what we need to make the scripts work, we will need a sample, as you can see here. The sample consists of 782 observations for nine stocks, and each of those four samples tracks four year, uh, three years of daily data. And uh, what I would suggest is have at least two period or two samples. Sample number one will be the sample that you use for the portfolio creation, and sample number two will be the time to test the strategy. Um, obviously, I'm using historical data. If you really want to use it in real life applications, I would suggest you use um, estimates of the mean and the standard deviation, not historical data. All right, let's get right into it. The only thing you need to change is um, this line in the semi variance script and this line in the performance script. So, we want to create a portfolio based on sample period one. We save it like this and we hit the run button and wait for a couple of seconds, about five or six. Boom! This is the efficient frontier output you will get in using the semi standard deviation as risk and the portfolio returns, not the access returns. I'm assuming that there is no uh, free risk free interest rate. Um, you would expect 21% return, 24% risk. Sharp ratio of or a performance ratio of 0.88, and you would invest the majority of your portfolio in one company and just 1% in another company. Um, let's see how that portfolio performed over the next horizon. P2, save and run. Boom, that was quick. As you can see, it performed sort of well. Um, you would have had a annual performance of 38.19% uh, so in hindsight you have made each year you have made 38.19% that accumulates to um, that accumulates one dollar to two point whatever six dollarish I don't okay um, now let's reset everything Boom, back to where we started. Track the second period. Run, wait, and go. This is the portfolio consisting of three different shares. Calculated eight seconds. You would expect 47%. The problem is that was from 2004 until 2006 when markets were doing really great and all companies were really successful. But uh, right that right after that we have the financial crisis and we would expect to actually make a loss, a very strong loss. We'll see. This is our graph. Let's see how this portfolio performed in P3 from 2007 to 2009. Run and done. Oh, I calculated the uh, portfolio directly. Let's do that again. Performance. Let's calculate for P2 again. Wait another 8.721927 seconds. No, worry, not that much. Same portfolio as before. Click on performance. So what happened in the financial crisis? run. Oh shoot, surprise, we lost money. Actually not that much. Alright, 
last sample from 2010 to 2012. That's not right. This is the fully being created in the financial crisis from 2007 to 2009. We would invest the majority of our money in this company, which I think is KNS. And as the intelligent investor might know, KNS performed incredibly well until 2012. Roughly here, well, it wasn't that well, but they lost a lot of money um, recently. That's why the portfolio value would lose significant amounts. Yeah, this is how you use the script that I've provided. Um, if you find anything that is easier than that, I, I highly doubt that. Um, this is as easy as it gets. Um, yeah, that's it.